Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Cities Skylines 2. This is episode number 10. We have already made some progress since where I left off the last video, just a little bit anyway, and that is taking a pocket that you can't see very well at the moment and filling it in with something useful that we found was in need. I was on pause. I only just completed it, so it's not going to have filled in yet, but what we have is our new low density residential zone area and there was this forest behind the university uh, that remained untapped and i've gone ahead and tapped that with not one but two uh, logging industry locations so we have one here and if you were to switch this up now we can get a decent view of our two areas uh, how they interact with each other we've got a dirt road or a gravel road that comes down there uh, a gravel road just out in front of this timber area but uh, i've then taken the outer edges and filled that up ready for well i suppose some low residential uh, in this area as well because well that's the great need commercial is not going to really fit back here and we definitely don't want industrial next to all this residential with the wind flowing that direction so a little more low density housing can go into this area i'm going to take a look at a couple of our city statistics statistics one being that tourism is now a thing not by much it's only about 110 people at any given time that are here as tourists but it is now starting to provide us with at least a little bit of an income, roughly 25K. Still no hotels, so that's one thing that has not kicked off just yet. Our train cargo nearly matches our truck cargo. Collected and delivered mail is quite high and I've got good control of that, but I do have these new regions that are gonna need to get uh, uh, additional coverage that we don't have. Uh, education on the rise. More and more people around. Uh, the poorly educated are here, yes, but that's almost in parallel, so it hasn't grown significantly. Educated citizens has definitely grown a bit, and it looks like... Uh, let's see, that's the uneducated. What's the green? Oh, poorly educated. Okay. Uh, well-educated is definitely rising the most right now, though. Crime rate has been dropping lately. It's down to 5% where it was at 10. So that that's definitely helping. That's half of what it was. On the employment sector, the unemployed numbers are quite low, especially as we are growing. In fact, it looks like we have demand. We are well above zero. Or well below zero, anyway. Uh, workers constantly on the rise commercial workers industrial workers pretty balanced office workers city service workers are pretty small portions uh, but that office workers definitely on the rise and with our new manhattan like uh, skyscraper area when that builds up that's going to employ a lot of people jobs oh yeah look at that huge rise in commercial jobs recently well-being is very high. Health is not, but we just finally put in a hospital that should help with our health rating here in the short term. Population constantly on the rise and above 30,000 now, 31K and counting. Household wealth is doing quite well. 16 million. Commercial wealth has grown significantly recently. Somehow income is going down at the moment, which is strange. We are back to a positive balance though. Things always settle. We, we tend to do something big and then it hurts us short term and then we recover from it. Speaking of skyscrapers, we do have one big skyscraper now on a smaller one. This is that pocket that I was talking about that we're filling out. We just have a few smaller businesses, but that's because they are literally underneath the uh, freeway. Demand for suburbs is high, and we definitely don't want to hurt what we have industrial-wise or what we have residential down there. So we're going to fill this in 
here and then we'll add in a little bit of load of low density commercial to bridge the gap to the industrial area i've left that open for a very long time finally connecting it up now and industrial demand suddenly is high so do we want to start filling in this pocket probably i kind of want to add additional tiles if we're going to do something in this area ways to go to the edge all right so adding that pocket in and then let's make sure there are no resources present in this area this no farmland second moon with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Okay. before we no dive oil. into our next selection i'd like to take a few minutes no gems to elaborate on the formal structure of the symphonic work for our newer less able listeners First, okay, and the wind direction continues to be the same. There is a water pocket here. We could, uh, and actually looking at, yeah, water availability is teetering on the edge. Let's raise the curtain. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. So it looks like we're going to want to add that in one particular area. Oh, and then it's going to be surrounded by industrial. Uh, we, we could invest on making sure that it's not uh, contaminated. But that's looking more like the low residential and this being the industrial area, right? Let's keep the industrial on the east side here. So that's another available pocket for low density residential. Well, expansion is not our friend right now. We only have a single tile with a million dollars. We also don't have a lot of money for any big projects, but we do have 13 progression points that are available. Let's go ahead and jump in and make hay while the sun is shining. No, the sun is not shining. It's snowing out. So back to those development points. What do we have? Health Research Institute. Healthcare has been a big concern of late as things are not looking great. So this is one area where spending eight points might be worthwhile. Health Research Institute studies ways of keeping citizens healthier and educates them in various ways via, for example, lectures and outdoor challenges. Okay, that's one area we could jump into. I don't think we need any traffic stuff right now. Uh, we don't need any upgraded power stuff at the moment, though getting to like a solar power plant or a geo geothermal like this could be an advisable route for additional ways to make money advanced water pumping station oh gosh i just i think i just built right over where this would be medical university medical university provides academic schooling for medical professions increases the efficiency of healthcare service buildings and we're only talking about two points, so let's go ahead and unlock that medical university. Uh, let's unlock the proper fire station. And the police headquarters. And on the transportation sector, we definitely need to spend some points. Do we want to unlock water? That seems like a good one. Passenger cargo ship facilities. But we're doing okay with that. I think maybe air. It's time to get an airport in here. Three points remained for now. Uh, we could unlock the sports parks. Not enough for the telecom tower, so I guess it's the sport parks. 
That groundwater pumping station is all right here in the middle of this industrial pocket. But if we go here, that should get us in the neighborhood, right? Yeah, reservoir, groundwater reservoir usage, 66%. Water output, almost 20 million gallons. Uh, we do need to add in, as it's in an industrial area, the advanced filtering system to cut down the decontamination. All right, so that's going to add to our network. Yeah, water availability going up quite a bit. The Snowfield Hospital currently only has seven patients, but it's fully employed, 60 employees. The efficiency is quite high. Uh, Oh, pharmaceuticals are stored there. Okay. But the big concern for me is, is it doing anything to contribute to the average health? And it is. We were at 60%. It's now 62. And that is only with a couple of uh, patients. Crematorium availability also now at a healthy amount as we added that second one in. The industrials filling in as needed. We put a lot more than what was necessary. And here we are once again looking at a need for low density <laughs> residential. It's just one after another after another in terms of the demand. So I suppose we can kind of fill out to here pocket wise. This one with a little curvature. There you go. And let's go ahead and make a traffic circle out of this space. Bit of a gorge section here with some deep cut river. Not very flat, but some of it is suitable for housing and the reality of that kind of view, that kind of overlook, you pay a lot of extra for that. So uh, we're gonna fill in, not the main road, but the side roads here for low residential. Now those points that we spent, some of that can absolutely be grown and turned into something. So let's see what we have. Education and research, we have unlocked the medical university at a whopping 2.4 million. Academic schooling for medical professions provides the fourth level of education and increases the efficiency of healthcare. Service buildings can be upgraded with an extension wing, research facilities, and a practice clinic. Minus 25% recovery failures. Okay, so as in you don't recover from an illness but die. Cuts down death rate by 25%. And then hospital efficiency citywide increases by 10%. That is handy. That's also two and a half million. Uh, our first proper full-blown fire station, large station that has a several fire engines, also reduces the likelihood of fires in the buildings in its service area by conducting safety, safety supervision. Okay, so oversees the other. So you definitely want to get one of these larger stations in at some point. And I'm assuming the police headquarters is going to be the same type of thing. Jail capacity, patrol cars. In the transportation side, we have unlocked air. But our airport, a small, okay, small terminal and runway that provides the city with flight connections. Increases the attractiveness of the city and raises the effectiveness of offices. Can be upgraded with airport services, business lounge, and a cargo terminal. Plus 5% attractiveness citywide, plus 3% office efficiency citywide. 750k is something we can actually get into 
now. Meanwhile, sports parks have been added. Tennis courts, outdoor gyms, skate parks, and basketball courts. All have plus five outdoor rec. All are fairly affordable, and this new area has nothing for parks. So why don't we do something? Let's throw a tennis court right there. That's gonna fill in that area a little bit. not fill needs into a larger area very well. That does though. And the basketball court. There's the new basketball court. The new tennis courts. Upper corners lifted a little bit, but Overall, she serves her purpose. And there's the skate park. Pretty decent sized one at that. Even after adding in another big pocket of residential, we still find ourselves nowhere near meeting the demands. Right here above the gorge seemed like the perfect place to add in another signature building, this time the film actor uh, mansion right here on the waterfront. Uh, we've also added in the Kane residences here along that main road, just starting to fill out. It's waiting for a hearse, really? Been open for like five seconds. <laughs> Looks like our off-ramp on-ramp is working just fine. We're, All right, quick live, check uh, in uh, here on services. Uh, what do we need? Because uh, I've built all this new stuff and I haven't have kept up with all of it. The hospital is meeting the needs for healthcare. We're okay there. Crematorium is with two of them keeping up. Our garbage management processing is so much better than what it used to be at 95 tons now, but it's still nowhere near processing all of it and landfill availability is running low. So checking in now on our incineration plant and how is it doing? And finally, yes, processing speed, 81 tons. 81 tons absolutely is doing us a service speaking of a service how are we looking on garbage management not great maintenance and resources is expensive at 525,000 and we're only making 25k so it's a very expensive service but so is the health care and death care I do think if we're going to run into, if we're not going to want to run into issues with the other landfill, another incineration plant is going to be important, but it's very clear that it's also a very expensive process for us, but it's one of those something we have to do. It's, it's a million bucks, but it produces extra electricity, so it does offset a bit. But let's get this out here in this industrial area. Oh, we can't even order we we can't even afford the extra incinerator at the moment we'll get it soon enough uh, but another thing we need to do is we need to get a transformer all right we've got her hooked up we're only a little short of cash to add the extra incinerator it's a little early to push that along as we're you know just getting employees hired and starting to get them here but uh, this is a big path forward to meeting a demand that we have been nowhere near meeting and as we are growing that landfill is filling up awfully fast it's really filling up okay we've got just enough cash now just enough <laughs> we're playing with fire here folks extra incinerator poof big need we've got no money <laughs> we have no money but we're growing rapidly considering what we have in fact, 8,000 an hour is quite good. And hopefully this thing gets fired up here real soon. Vehicles in use. There's already one collecting, one transporting. 
from the dump. And one collecting garbage, I see. Okay, educational needs. That residential area has no elementary needs being met, nor does this pocket out here. So we will need more elementary schools, but we don't have 100K right now. Uh, but definitely to expand into those two areas. Oh, also this pocket has no elementary. I thought it was close enough, but it's not. Dang, okay. So big time elementary needs that are not being met. Uh, fire services. How are we looking on that one? We are just about covered to the extreme out there. And we're definitely not covered in the industrial area. Very well, anyway. So near this incineration plant, we're going to need to get something placed down here. Yeah, that'll cover it. But it's 120k that we don't have. Police. Police is not covering this area. Not well at all. And then there's those bus lines. And we've got nothing going bus lines. Or the airport, for that matter. Bus lines can be done up pretty cheaply, though. I did mention that I wanted to get another bus depot at some stage. I don't know if we need that now or just get on with getting some buses into this southern portion of the city, which I mean, contains like half our population, uh, but ultimately doesn't have a whole lot out here other than an industrial network nearby. For this new bus line we've got a circular route through the edges of the residential on the main road and then using the highway to quickly link back up over to this area and cut through there along the main road and then linking up across another bus route so we do have some connection between the two before then coming back into its own. Uh, that is along that King Highway Oh, that's right. This is not highway here. This is street, but that's highway? Shoot, I had a couple bus stops along the highway itself. That's a little strange to do, but um, yeah. <laughs> Checking in on who's using what when it comes to transportation. Taxis, they've only improved by 100 people a month. It's not a lot, but it's not a big service industry except for in, you know, like say New York. Chicago or LA uh, 15,000 people using the bus monthly with just eight bus lines only two tourists tourists a month using the bus though uh, the train still not doing great just 3,000 in and out but that's because we don't have the attractiveness to bring the tourists that's one of the big reasons why that's not helping us a whole lot On the cargo side, 20,000 brought in and out, 20,000 tons via truck. Uh, rail, just the two routes, 11,000. It's a bit less overall, 31,000 though. Air is something we definitely want to get to soon, and we are definitely recovering some funds relatively quickly. We've already got over a quarter of a million. It's increasing quite fast. Uh, the new bus line should and could increase. Uh, the number of people using monthly and it looks like it is on the rise i love how the weather is starting to turn it's 44 degrees but it's still winter it's raining the snow has gone away but the higher elevations the mountain and you can see how it's slowly retreating it's really cool as it thaws as it rains but the incineration plant Slowly but surely, it's growing active and picking up pace, incinerating more and more, helping us out. Okay, commercial demand has gone up a lot, and all this newly created area has room for a lot of commercial. We have room for some medium density as well, so we'll uh, throw that in, but then let's get some commercial. 
can really see how the commercials kind of fit in along just the key main roads. This is a weak one for that starting area. It's really the least efficient area we have. This area is kind of not so efficient either. Next project. We're going to uh, expand what we're doing and get across the way here. So we've added in a a road over the highway to make a connection to the island the island that currently has a farm and a chemical plant I'm going to use the connection here next to the chemical plant to bring something down here but I want a lot of industry in here I think we're going to do a big well not industry uh, logging in this area and then this whole bottom end is going to be residential uh, the third connection I want to make is a off-ramp from the highway uh, to get down here as well. Uh, you can see our island though. Not enough workers, but man oh man, that's starting to fill out nicely. Got multiple high-rises down there now. So we're going to want to run this one main road right on up. Let's go straight through there. All right, so we have our ramp, just nice and simple. Uh, we don't need to do any logging back here, so we can put in kind of a, a regular, you know what, we've got our middle highway one. Why don't we just use it to curve and go this way. And then, uh, just like that, the residential portion is ready to go. It looks like there's a little more I could fill in over here if I wanted, uh, but let's go ahead and add in, because demand is as high as ever the amazing news is by time I've got this constructed and we still only made a, a relatively small dent in the low residential needs we've gone from 6,000 to 915,000 we've nearly made a million dollars in a very short period of time and with all this extra housing it's going to bring in more demand of some kind but speaking of demand there is no elementary there's nothing in this area so let's go ahead and service one big need here with an elementary school uh, i think this is probably going to make more sense it's very much starting to look like a city for sure i mean we we're putting a lot into this and this is no small place anymore Thirty-six thousand. definitely not a huge number but it's definitely no longer a small number. And while they've got us classified as a small city, we are right on the verge of leveling up once again and breaking out of that mold and into the next category. Let's see if we have any sort of bonuses that we could put in this. A food station. Minus one import cost. Oh, I like that. But in the meantime, we've done it. Milestone number 11 unlocked. Big city. City is coming along nicely. 2.8 million, 11 progression, and 18 uh, new tiles. One away from being a large city. Only the loan limit has increased this time, though. Uh, but there's plenty of new things for us to do and see. And what was it that I was looking at? We were looking at the food station for all hungry customers under one roof. Plus three well-being, plus one attractiveness, and minus one import costs. We absolutely want to bring that puppy on in here. Uh, do we want it next to the school? No, you know what? Hey, we, ha we have the off-ramp here. Let's put it there. Architect, build 10 signature buildings. That's an achievement. Nice way to end things here with another achievement, another milestone, and a growing population. Now 36 thousand strong also 3.4 million strong and counting so we've restored some funds which puts us in a position to be able to do something potentially uh, on the bigger side like bringing in an airport or something along those lines uh, that is going to do it for this episode though i'm decathlon gamer like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there and bye for now